Two months have passed since the loggerhead laid her eggs on this beach. Up above the high water mark, the dunes are stirring. The first of the brood makes its way out of the nest. Instinct tells the rest to stay motionless for now. But this one is precocious. It's a bad move. Dangers lurk in the darkness. Ghost crabs are waiting at the water's edge, gathering for the kill. These opportunists are one of the key predators of baby turtles. If the babies are going to reach the safety of the ocean, they'll have to avoid being caught. The rest are staying put. There's safety in numbers. But their impatient sibling is on his way. Out in the open, alone, there's nowhere to hide. A crab closes in for the easy kill. Unaware of the tragedy on the beach, the rest of the brood is surfacing. Up to 120 babies are pushing up out of the nest, all intent on one all-important dash down the dunes and across the beach. For the tiny, soft, awkward babies, not made for moving on land, it'll be a monumental struggle. Even small dune plants present major obstacles. The journey is just a few dozen meters, but for the hatchlings, it's an exhausting trek across an apparently endless desert. A desert full of dangers. A life and death struggle. A baby has been snared by a ghost crab under the sand. The unlucky do not survive, but this baby is tough. It battles on through the night, rejoining its brothers and sisters as the march goes on. This is the first and last time the males will walk on land. The rest of their lives will be spent at sea. At last, they reach the water's edge. They are together for now, but they are starting solitary lives. Turtles are self-sufficient from the moment they hatch, and already they're going their separate ways, beginning decades of wandering across the world's seas. The magnetic signature of this beach has already imprinted on them, and one day, 20 or 30 years from now, the females will begin to return here to lay their own eggs. Now, they will let the currents guide them. The warm Mozambique current will take them south, skirting the African continent, and then out into the Southern Ocean. Touch me and you die. Roughly the size of a baseball, the soft-bodied blue-lined octopus looks deceptively vulnerable. And with a relatively short lifespan of just seven months, the species depends upon some rather extreme survival strategies. It advertises its message in neon blue. This sea snake is prowling for food. The octopus has a choice to make. Hide or stand and fight. It opts to hide. Like most cephalopods, the blue-lined octopus is a master of disguise. 
sophisticated skin tissues allow it to rapidly change not only its colours, but also the texture of its skin to better blend in with its surroundings. The sea snake continues its search for a meal. But some predators are armed with more refined senses. The hammerhead shark possesses an array of electroreceptors that can detect even the best hidden of prey on the seafloor. Confronted with the threat, the blue-lined octopus decides to change tactics. It sends a vivid message. Iridescent blue markings pulsate across its body, warning the predator that it's armed and dangerous. Its deadly bite is 10,000 times more toxic than cyanide. In humans, envenomation can cause respiratory failure, leading to cardiac arrest and eventually death in as little as a few minutes. In nature, such threat displays are generally heeded and the hammerhead continues on its way. On a smaller scale, the blue-lined octopus is also a predator. It scours the ocean floor, searching for small fish and crustaceans. As a soft-bodied cephalopod, it's vulnerable to counterattack, and this crab's pincers could inflict grievous bodily harm, albeit in self-defense. A surprise attack presents the best chance of success. The octopus's dexterous tentacles restrain the crab's menacing claws, while its sharp beak easily penetrates the crab's exoskeleton delivering its toxic bite. The crab quickly succumbs to a lethal combination of toxins contained within the octopus's venom. There's no doubt with this pint-sized perpetrator, blue means back off. <laughs> <laughs>